did you do that? How did you do that? just got up it's about 6 30 the kids are still sleeping i was thinking of going to the park for a morning walk and uh look at the weather it says it might rain and i don't want to walk with too many things with me because i i want to go to the gym today and tomorrow my husband is gonna take the day off we're gonna go to the kids school they're gonna have like little event uh, like a race and things like that between classes so my husband is thinking of going. So I want to do a, a good gym session today. That way tomorrow I don't need to go. So I don't know. Maybe I should just dress up. I don't want to wear long pants. And I don't want to carry a lot of stuff with me to go for that walk. Um, and then maybe come back or right after the walk go straight to the gym. Okay. And uh, the kids are still sleeping. Um, I don't want to make noise to make my coffee. I need my coffee. That will be my energy. Let me see what I could do. If I go, you guys will know. Sunday, June 10th, 2018. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. 127.8 minus 2 pounds overnight. Beautiful. Just working perfectly. Today is Sunday, June 10th, 2018, and it's 7.19. Around this time, usually I'm getting myself ready to go to church, but I went last night. Um, after I came back from the school stuff, I got settled, and then when I saw it was 5 o'clock and I had the energy, and I just took another shower, get that out of the way. So right now I'm getting ready to go for a walk at the park. I felt like I should make this little video because I just weigh myself and I'm like 127 point something. Uh, the reason I want to make this little video is because uh, if I could find that the weight while I'm talking to you guys, all right, um, I'll show you. But the reason I want to make this little video um, is because um, I've been showing you throughout the week how um my what i've been eating um how i uh, adjust some of my intake my cravings and all this stuff so i just weigh myself this is the video and this one is going to be in a separate video um on its own it's showing upside down let's see uh this is right now i'm 127.8 and i just lost two pound um overnight right and um it's nothing major. I could gain it back throughout the day. I haven't eaten anything yet. So I always said, when I weigh myself in the morning and at night, especially the morning weight, it's just for a guide. Knowing where I'm at for the day, that's like my zero, my starting point for the day. And it will, um, I, that will sort of determine, um, whether I go crazy with food or I control what I eat or things like that. It's just a guide. So throughout the week, I've been showing you guys what I've been eating. And my husband has been telling me I need to make my videos a little bit shorter. But I'm not a good editor. Um, because I feel like I should show you every step of the way of everything that I'm doing. Um, it's hard for me to cut certain things out. Uh, because I really want to show you guys what I'm doing and it's nothing spectacular I'm not a good cook when I want to lose weight I like to eat quinoa it has the same kind of uh, texture as rice and when I eat white rice I gain so when I eat quinoa it's sort of, I could eat a lot of it but I don't gain that much and this week for some reason it crossed my mind um, like I said I'm not a good cook but when I realized that when I put a lot of water in my quinoa, it expands. So which means I could put a little bit of, I could cook a little bit of quinoa and put a lot of water and it will expand just to trick the mind or whatever. Now, I don't know if usually when you cook things, it get rid of, of a lot of the nutritional value of the food. So I don't know if 
by cooking my quinoa that long because yesterday my quinoa was cooking very slowly with a lot of water for almost uh, two or three hours or something I even went to church I told my husband to keep an eye on it he turned it off I guess the minute I left because he was sleeping he didn't want to deal with it so I had to turn it back on again uh, when I came back so the quinoa had expanded tremendously just one cup of water and I put four uh, one cup of quinoa and I put four cups of water and it expanded it like a huge uh, uh, bowl of uh, uh, quinoa so it's just by experimenting and I realize certain things and I adjust the way I, that I cook so I just lost two pound overnight like I said it's nothing I haven't eaten anything yet but I want you guys to see what I've done to lose weight there's few group of people the, those they know they know it's not the world the people from other countries it's people in my neighborhood who has been asking me these are for you um, I'm making those little videos showing you what I do what I eat how I cook my food my, cook, <laughs> my food have no taste um, when I was young my cousin used to she's much older than I am and you know she raised me and she used to be like you need to learn how to cook and this and that and I just used to hate being in the kitchen it wasn't my thing in a way I think it was good why I think it was good um, I didn't learn how to cook <laughs> but um, the way that she cook her food is on point her food. my kids they love to go to her house to eat her rice right she is a good cook but the reason I think it was good for me is that I did not learn um, the kind of fattening that she put on her food so that never uh, really processed in me so even when I started uh, when I was living on my own all I needed my food sometimes salt and pepper that's it I don't need any fancy stuff so by cooking very simple with minimal fattening uh, oil butter and all this stuff that sort of helped me from the way I'm cooking now um, so my taste bud never really caught up with uh, all those fancy stuff since I've been living on my own because all I needed was salt and pepper that's it so yeah I'm gonna put this video together showing that how I've been um, the process of how I made this quinoa it's not finished yet um, it, when I come back I'm gonna uh, finish the process and then I will put on all the little clips from yesterday till today and how the quinoa have been expanded and what sort of helped me so yeah I just wanted to share this little part with you I'm gonna go for a walk first I'm gonna make coffee and then go for a walk and then I will go to the gym. So in order for me to skip my gym day, my gym session tomorrow, I'm gonna go today. First, I wanna go to the park because around this time, it's perfect. Um, it might rain though, but once it starts raining, I just leave. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm getting ready to go to the park. I've, I'm, I didn't finish eat my, uh, drink my coffee. I'm gonna take two of these. All right, I'm not gonna eat this now um this is for when i'm about to uh, when i'm heading to the gym i could have that but my coffee i made two coffees one to drink right now and one let's go in the kitchen and there's this one i'm gonna i put my stuff there's the coffee in there coffee made and a little bit of sugar i'm gonna walk with this It's about seven fifty-seven, eight o'clock. Okay, this video I was um, it was uploading, it just finished. Uh, I had it scheduled for Friday, June 29th. So let me get this out of the way. I'm leaving right now and it's a bit late. Going and I'm gonna go for the walk. Um, and after I probably, I would say 9.30, I'm gonna head um, to the gym. It's a bit chilly. I know I have my hat on and everything, but uh, 
um, I'll see how it is. I'll tie if it's hot, I'll take it off. It's not. And I'm wearing short and my uh, compression thing for my uh, leg. So, yeah, let's get going. Finish. <clears throat> when you finish, put the thing in your folder. Don't bother daddy, okay? And then you could play your game. You have to finish before you could go on the computer. You understand? So I just like write the story for you? Do what the paper says, what the homework asks you, okay? Get information from the book to answer it, okay? And then I write it in the paragraph? Whichever it ne is necessary to do it. But the main thing is to finish your work first. All right, I'm gone. So, it's raining. I'll leave this for another day. Oh, we have this here. We better take it out before we forget. I'm going to take the peanut butter. So, it's 11.53. I just got back and I'm drinking my rest of coffee. So my plan sort of changed because uh, it started raining. So I didn't take the walk to the park. Instead, I came back, uh, put my coffee away. I took a spoon of peanut butter um, as my uh, energy source because I had nothing in my system. And then I put the two scoops of peanut butter that I was going to take with me to the park. I would have been eating it on my way to the gym as my source of energy. But um, I put it back in the fridge. For next time, I have a feeling I'll be doing that uh, quite often. Take, now that the weather's getting good, I'll take a walk to the park and then on my way to the from the park to the gym, I'll eat the peanut butter. And that really, I had a lot of energy. I did full body today. I did everything. So, um, you see, I just came back, 11.54. I didn't record anything. The gym was, uh, you know, on weekends, the gym, it's uncomfortable to record. So, yeah, tomorrow I will not be going because my uh, my husband and I are going to uh, part uh, not participate, but watch our kids play. Later today, I'm going to finish the quinoa. I only boiled it. I'm going to do a little bit of stir fry with it. So, I'll show you guys that process. So, all the clips from yesterday till now, I'll be showing you guys. So that's my post workout. I'm just eating this. Multi grain crackers. Where is it? With coffee. Six and a half hours later. Day two. Alright, so I decided to set up a little bit. Pino still has some, uh, that's how much I got from it. From the way that I did it. Um, I stir fry, not stir fry, I roast it a little bit, let it sit in uh, four cups of water, and then I cooked it very slowly for like four hours. It could have gone more, but my husband turned off the fire. I went to bed, but uh, he was still up, but uh, he didn't. But anyway, so I'm gonna do here, because I wanna finish with it, because later we're gonna go out with the kids. I'm gonna drain it. This is the finer one that I have. I don't have any more strainer. So let's see how that goes. I'm putting under this because just in case if it uh, uh, passed through, at least I could catch it. Because the main thing, I don't want to lose it. I'm going to get the water out. That's my bed for just uh, one cup of quinoa. I could eat it like that if I want. It's just boring. <laughs> There's no salt, nothing in it. Well, let me. I'm gonna stir fry it in this, so let me get this kind of hot. Move it to this one now. Turn the back one off. Right. 
some olive oil and some stuff that I did. Figuring out that it expands when it when I cook it, that's an extra bonus actually. What I'm gonna do here, because I usually eat it with these, nobody else is eating it, just me. So I'm just gonna throw this in there to mix vegetables. Like I said, I'm not a great cook. It's things that I see that are that I find beneficial to me. And I already lose couple, wait, my morning weight this morning was 120, what was it? 127.8. And the last couple of days, my morning weight used to be 130, 129. So 127 is pretty much close to 126 where my abs will be showing. And <laughs> I'm cooking with my sports bra and it's starting to show. If I keep, if I eat like that throughout the summer, my ab will be popping like crazy. But I don't think I can make it, it like that because uh, I will be seeing stuff. I want to try cookies. I want to try this. Actually, on Friday, was it Friday or Saturday? I ate uh, ice cream, one of my kids' ice cream, and I ate a little bit of chips. And it's already showing in my face, so I'm going to move this to the back because I'm done with that. While I'm here, I'm going to make a... Uh, uh, what's that thing? I'm going to make beans. I'm already here and uh, I need to shower yet, so let me do that. That way I don't have to think about it tomorrow or during the week. And my cooking is always the same. These are my go-to. And maybe which one is open? And one of these. And I have to get the stuff from the fridge. Garlic and my other spice. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I thought about it. I'm just gonna get it over with. Alright, so I'm gonna get this uh, dry up my uh, oil and all of the stuff and then that will be it and I'll be set this will be my food for throughout the week until the quinoa is finished and then I'll make some more you know what this is something I like to do once in a while chia seeds I'm gonna sprinkle a couple okay. sometimes I put in my uh, oatmeal cookies I haven't made oatmeal cookies in a while. My cousin have a lot of bananas for me. And it, each time she comes here, she forgets. I went to her house, I forgot to take it. So, there's a lot of bananas. That's why I don't buy any yet. I wanna get her bananas so I can make my oatmeal cookies. Once I have, once I have oatmeal cookies, uh, that's what I usually eat after my workout. And uh, that will pretty much uh, keep me full for a good amount of time now if some of you don't like really 
uh, pasty kind of thing. Um, this will not be good for it because it's very soft and uh, mushy. So I don't think some, some of you will like it. Uh, unlike rice, a little bit more firm. So me, I really don't care. So this is a little bit mushy when you put the, a lot of water, which is giving, so let's do this. Okay, so this is what I have. Let's put the water in there. 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 Let's put the Get my cover ready. Okay. Done with this. Now my spice, my herb. Now with the quinoa, uh, because I put so much water in it and I cook it for a very long time, I don't know if some of the nutritional value, I may have said it before, uh, I've uh, reduced. Yet. Um, so that's something an expert will uh, correct me on that. It's the water from the me. I'm not gonna go for the quinoa. I'm going for value. I wanna feel like I'm eating more than I'm actually eating. That's why I did it like that. Um, and then other nutritional values, the tin and stuff that's in it. I could get it from another source, but I want my eyes to make me feel like I'm eating a lot when I'm actually not eating that much. I want to be full pretty much. I will put the liquid later, but I want to let the beans cook a little bit because it's not frying anymore. Once the liquid is in there, it's not the same. The beans, my husband will be eating that. He likes it. I wish the kids would eat some of that. I always offer them, but... So we're gonna go golfing in a few. My husband went to storage to get the, the golf um, clubs. So that's it. I'm gonna let this cook a little bit and then I'll put the like, the water in it. Let me put a little bit of uh, Goya. This is why I tell you guys, um, you know, as long, I, I think it could have been one of my last year video. There's a place I used to go. I, I don't plan on going there anymore. Whenever I go, when I know in advance I'm gonna go there, I usually lose couple of weight, couple of pounds uh, before I head to that place because when I get there I eat a lot and the food are not too healthy so that way when I come back whatever weight that I gain it just put me back where I was um, so I don't have that much to lose once I come back so I used to tell you guys it I just need a week to lose certain amount of weight and that's the way I usually do that once I find out things that works for me, I, uh, I keep it and when I need it, I use it and sometimes I modify it like the quinoa. It's this week. This week, I found out that it expands that much with one cup. Okay, there it is. It's still cooking. That's just one cup, one cup of quinoa. So, that's it. Now this is cooking. I need to clean up a little bit uh, and then uh, get myself ready. Alright, so I already took a shower. There's the beans cooking. And there's my quinoa over here. Okay, this is what I'm having. Quinoa, mixed vegetable, and some jalapeno. I need to buy more jalapeno. And uh, since the quinoa still had some water in it, it's uh, still being drained, dried out, pretty much. So yeah, I wanted to eat something before we go, because normally on that particular route where we go golfing, there's a uh, Wendy's there 
and sometimes we stop by to grab uh, a burger. If we do buy a burger, I probably will buy it for tomorrow because it's far away from us. We don't have Wendy's near us. So yep, that's my lunch. This is less than a uh, this is less than a cup of quinoa. I cannot believe how awesome this is. I have the better camera in my bag. The, well, Facebook reminded us yesterday. So. See now, I'm record, you want me to record? Much better. Yeah, the last one you did. Yeah. Alright, get yourself ready. Take your time. That's right. That's what you do. Oh my god. Yeah. Go. You have to take it away from the kitchen. Ah, leave it, leave it. Nice. Good job, Ma. Nice, Ma. Six fifty-four. Just came back from uh, what's that thing? Golfing with the kids. So I'm gonna make something to eat. I was gonna eat the same thing I ate for lunch. I was like, you know what? Let me make something else. So I'm gonna do it and show you guys. Okay, I just drank a cup of coffee before. 